Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 22 online CFM game. We are now in week 13 of the 2022 season here in the Premier Madden League. We have a Thursday night football game against the 3 and 8 Chicago Bears on deck today. Neither team is anywhere to be found in that playoff chart which has pulled up. Both of our squads not really having any playoff aspirations this deep into the season. But nonetheless, we'll see if these two teams can put together a fun matchup on primetime television. As for the second time this season, we've acquired a breakout dev game for a backup on defense who was only in because of injuries to our starters. Last time it was Raekwon McMillan, this time it's Jacob Martin who has a chance to go from normal to star. Might as well go for it because, well, we gotta play Jacob Martin because we have a laundry list of injuries. And as you guys check out this injury report, you'll notice Nico Collins is on there now because he got hurt in practice. We were gonna bring Nico Collins back after he got benched for last week's game against the Steelers. Not anymore. And as you guys see all those injuries, keep in mind, we actually got two guys back from injury. Taekwon Lewis and the number eight pick in this year's draft, Drake Jackson, are back for this primetime matchup against the Chicago Bears. And finally, keep an eye on the Texans' offense. We've asked our offensive coordinator, Sean McVay, to design a new offense entering this matchup. Let's see what he cooked up. As we are underway as far as what the offense will be about we'll check that out when the offense gets on the field first things first here's the defense with Cole Komet finding an easy gap nearly getting the first down Justin Fields the only superstar on this entire Bears roster and of course keep in mind this is the Bears team that traded us Roquan Smith so this will be a Roquan Smith revenge game and we're also going to see our former friend Brandon Cooks who's the number one wide receiver for these Bears as that's a Jalipsia. Uh, they got the fullback running the ball right now. No David Montgomery. Not quite sure what's going on here. Maybe some of the other running backs are tired as Justin Fields. He'll take off. He'll almost get the first down. Tackled by his former teammate Roquan Smith. They will give him first down yardage as Fields dropping back. Looking for the shot play. Going with the crosser to Brandon Cooks. Had to pick our poison downfield. Just don't give up the touchdown and try to make a goal line stand. I suppose as Drake Jackson meeting the Bears in the backfield welcome back Drake Jackson who forces the receiver out of bounds Darnell Mooney makes the catch but the force out by Jackson that's an incompletion third down run up the middle Roquan once again making the tackle we've made the stand for now but one more play on the drive fourth down Bears offense on the field oh Roquan does it once more they tried to fit it into Mooney but Roquan disrupts the pass and it's a turnover on downs as Raheem Moster on the sweep getting the carry technically this is the alligator getting a more traditional carry a gain of 12 yards Sam Howell dropping back for his per first pass attempt of the game and they will call the catch to Brevin Jordan and no booth review or no review by the Bears so We'll get away with that. I'm not quite sure. We got the catch. That's a catch for sure. A nice catch and run. Jalen Red all the way to the 17-yard line. After the goal line stop, here come the Houston Texans into the red zone as the Alligator getting the carry, not getting much. Underneath Brevin Jordan battling all around, but a third down and long upcoming late in the first quarter. Sam Howell drop back. Got him open. That was the flashback. Josh Gordon, but... Oh, man, Sam Howell just straight up missed them right there. Not often we see Sam Howell really looking like a rookie with some of his passes with, as far as inaccuracies go, but that was not a good look because if we might have had a chance to turn that upfield with Josh Gordon. We'll never know as we kick the field goal up and good as we have another injury. This time it's the Roquan Smith. Oh, boy. Roquan might be out of this revenge game and could be out for a couple of weeks because that's just the way our injury luck goes. As Roquan Smith is out for the rest of the game with Turf Toe, I think he'll be back, you know, whenever our next game is after the bye week as we make a stupendous tackle with Nicholson in the backfield on third and one. Bears going no huddle on fourth and two. They're at their own 33-yard line. It's too early to get desperate, but they will. They'll convert. They'll get the first down. They're playing with the mindset of a three and eight football team I suppose as Fields given new life after the conversion on the RPO it looked like and second down Fields not going to get too far Simpic able to make the tackle it's now third 
third down in three. And Fields going play action. Down he goes. It's Sim pick again. Back-to-back -back plays by the third round pick. Oh my, a Nagbury making some noise. And a guy who has not really been getting a lot of snaps early in the season. But now with these injuries, he's kind of stepped up and... It's looking rather impressive as Nelson Aguilar on the return here trying to make some action happen as we fake the sweep, fake the handoff, faking everything. And now Sam Howell just gets it off. That's going to be caught by, I believe, Tyron Johnson, who we just signed off the streets because of our injuries. We give it to the alligator. He doesn't get too much, so it's third down and six once again. Howell, great pocket. Not anymore. Rolling to the right side. Jump ball for Kirk. And Christian Kirk comes down down with it what a play by Howell and Kirk to keep it going as we run it up the middle and you see we're trying to run the ball at least you know establish the run game let the defense know that we are trying to run the ball even if it's not too successful as we once again bring up a third down and long finding Moster and Raheem Moster getting the first down you'll notice Raheem Moster is in the slot for today's game and that was something that we did out of a necessity because of all these injuries we have Jalen Red at wide receiver too and I was like you know what let's just put Moster with his 96 speed in the slot and the offense we're going to design is going to be around putting Moster in motion third down Howell middle of the field oh that's beautiful that's Brevin Jordan that's a first down to the 12-yard line no huddle by the Texans that's Mostert in motion getting the jet sweep on first down Raheem Mostert using his jets to get to the five-yard line as we take down this second quarter Mostert in that quarterback all right maybe a little bit too much as we have an injury on the field it's to our backup tight end CJ Uzama who already missed a couple of weeks this season due to injury third down Howell going to the alligator. Short pass will not get us the first down. And down goes Uzama for a couple of weeks. Fourth down and three. We're going to go four out the two-minute warning. Playing like a four and eight squad. Trying to go five and eight. Not like that. Not like that. Turnover on downs. And, man, we had it. I believe we had Jalen right in the back of the end zone. And I just misread the defense right there. Unfortunate, as it seems like this offense is... Not looking too bad, dare I say. Oh, the Bears not looking too great as they nearly throw the pick to Justin Reed. Third down. It's a first down and then some for the fullback who continues to get carries out here. That'll be a charge timeout. Oh, charge timeout to the Bears under two minutes to go in the half to the second string tight end Jordan Matthews. Cole Komet on the reception. Cole Komet with the big catch and run and two plays. The Bears shred us to the 32-yard line. Minute to go in the first half. We're trying to pitch a shutout but the Bears are looking to take the lead before we go into the locker room as the booth is going to review that play they called it a non-reception and they're actually going to overturn it and it's going to be the difference of a yard we'll see how much of a difference that really is as Justin Fields second down going to the curl Brandon Cooks trying to have a revenge game Roquan Smith's already out and no Philip Lindsay's not on the Bears anymore so don't expect him to be around as Justin Fields underneath finding Galapsia the full back as we have an injury to Jacob Martin and remember Jacob Martin has a death game on the line as he gets hurt so hopefully he's not out for too long as Justin Fields rolling with space to go at least the first down he'll get that and go all the way to the six yard line 30 seconds to go in the half out the bunch it's Justin Fields quickly got the fullback Galapsia who is crushed and gets the touchdown down goes Jacob Martin down goes our lead all up in flames the Jacob Martin dev story will not be happening because I don't think he really made a play in that first half and he will not be making a play in the second half because he just tore his abdominal see you later Jacob and once again just like the past couple of weeks I don't really even know who the injury replacements are for Jacob Martin right I know the injury replacements are for Drake Jackson and Chris Olave but for Jacob Martin and CJ Uzama that's a whole nother story nice play by Howell finding Jalen Red hold on just a second we might be able to get some points here dropping back against the three-man rush Sam Howell rolling thinking about the deep shot not really there we'll just throw it away six seconds left maybe one more play to try to get into field goal range we'll run it with the alligator he's up the middle but he's out of time that took too long we're not able to get the timeout that is is it the half ends seven to three as we go to the halftime show welcome to the halftime show where today's game of the week 
week is Julio Jones and the Seattle Seahawks against Darnell Moss and the Las Vegas Raiders. Would you look at that? Darnell Moss taking another kick return to the crib. He takes kick returns back as often as you do your dishes. But at the end of the day, we go to OT and the Raiders are heartbroken as Seattle squeaks through with the victory. No real game of the week here. We're just going to fly through the action. Now we go to Vikings versus Dolphins. Early on, Irv Smith putting his stamp on this game. He had a career outing, but Will Fuller was too fast for this Vikings secondary to handle. Russell with the rocket, Fuller with the huge day, and the Dolphins with the victory. Kyler Murray and the Cardinals were looking to do big things against the LA Chargers. Kept it close throughout, but at the end of the day, when it was closing time, Austin Eckler cashed in the final check. Chargers hang on for a close win. Now we go to a battle in the AFC South where defenses were giving away touchdowns. Here's Herndon taking Hurts down. That is a Jaguars pick six. That's the Jaguars lead. Jalen Hurts answers back, finding Darrington Evans. And the second half was a Tennessee onslaught as Lawrence going to give the pick six right back. It's Caleb Farley and the Titans run away as both teams now at a 500 mark. The Denver Broncos. Broncos had a close battle in the first half, but this pick six changed everything. Browning pulls away the Broncos from the 49ers. Huge battle in the NFC South. This is for the division lead. Falcons need this game, but Tampa Bay wants it more. The battle of the tight ends is won by OJ Howard and the Buccaneers. Both squads at the top of the division at five and seven. Whoa, that was the name of the game for the New Orleans Saints. Nothing good on offense, a blowout. They get 69 in fact, as we have James Bradbury picking off JT Daniels, and Bradbury is going to go coast to coast as the Giants stomp the Steelers. Detroit against the Jets, just the way you expected it. Ty Johnson getting sticky and having a monster outing as the Lions route the New York Jets. And finally in the NFC East, Dak Prescott pitched a perfect game 17 for 17 six touchdowns what a day in the office cowboys get the win and we are back with second half action of bears versus texans our houston texans get the ball to start the second half and it seems like we're dropping like flies as the injuries continue to drop on our heads and one injury note to mention as we run a little play action here on second down sam howell going underneath to the alligator you guys may remember raekwon mcmillan tore his labrum in our last game he is playing this week against the Chicago Bears. I have no idea how as the Alligator gets the third down conversion. I don't know what kind of painkillers Raekwon McMillan is taking because Torn Labrum is usually five weeks in Madden and usually a whole season in real life. But McMillan's here and we need him because of all the injuries to our front seven. That was a beautiful play as Sam Howell and Brevin Jordan are working a nice connection in this new Sean McVay offense that seems to be working well for us. In an offense that was supposed to get our ground game working, it's actually helping Sam Howell more than anything else. It's third down. We're going to fake everything again. Sam Howell, great pocket, going in the corner to Kirk. Oh, Christian Kirk actually gets to the one yard line as most are back in the game at quarterback. Handing off to the Alligator. They won't give him this spot. Second down and goal at the one instead as we motion. Keeping what Howell trying to just muscle in there. Cannot. Now it's third down at the one dropping back and no one blocks 45. Howell is spilled to the ground for a big loss and that is a disastrous goal line sequence by our Houston in Texans the second time we've come up short in the goal line remember we had a fourth down and three turnover on downs that play or that drive should have ended in seven instead you know we just give up an unblocked guy right there when I try to get to Brevin Jordan and we have to kick our second field goal of the game and despite playing pretty solid in this one we're trailing as Justin Fields using his athleticism to get away but the Texans defense in the back half doing solid and eventually it's a coverage sack for Drake Jackson third down and 21 that's a simple check down to Demir Bird we'll give that up every single day as that's actually going to be a tackle by Raekwon McMillan and a punt by the Chicago Bears as 
in this game, I, I suppose, is playing kind of like a game against a 3 and 18 versus a 4 and 18 as Aguilar for the second time on the punt return, making something happen as Nelson Aguilar trying to be our permanent return guy as Howell looking for the deep shot. It's not there! Howell loses the ball instead! Turnover to first of the game! Chicago looking to run it back! Nichols out of gas! Trying to make something special happen. He's down at the 11 yard line. Big turnover by our Texans. That's the one thing we were doing this game. Playing clean football until that fumble as Justin Fields in the corner finds a fellow Justin. It's Justin Reed. Third down and seven. Fields rolling to the right side. He's got him. It's burned. He can take flight as the Bears find the end zone for their second touchdown of the game and Chicago pulling some separation in this one and it's just it feels weird because it feels like we're not playing a bad game but there's just a couple of plays that are really defining us right now that I mean, if we can't figure that out, we can't even beat the Chicago Bears at this point as the Alligator gets to carry up the middle. Solid run. Second down. Faking everything once more. Sam Howell bootlegging to that right side. Oh, gets it in there to Nelson Aguilar. That looked like a sketchy play at first. Instead, Aguilar, who continues to make sweet moves with the ball in his hands, helps Sam Howell go now nine, or 19 for 22. Make it 20 for 23. Jalen Red. Oh, no. Oh no, the touchdown is coming back. Jalen Red wide open for six, but the center, Patrick Morris, called for holding, and our touchdown is taken off the board. Jalen Red, though, still going to get a reception. Now we're 20 for 23 with Sam Howell. Second down, dropping back the pass again, but this time we're intercepted as Howell turns it over for the second drive in a row in the fourth quarter, in the second half, and we need to make the plays. We're folding like a lawn chair as Justin Fields underneath got Cole Komet. Easy pitch and catch! Oh, maybe not! Oh, Monte Nicholson cracked him! That's a recovery by Kyler Gordon, an immediate goal line possession for our Texans on the move Jalen Red oh yeah that's a touchdown Red in the end zone for the second week in a row the 52 overall wide receiver making noise now a chance to tie the game with 905 remaining in regulation Howell got him Brevin Jordan that's two on the board unless Patrick Morris gets a penalty which he does oh man that's gonna take more points off the board or at least a point off the board. First we missed out on a touchdown. Now we missed out on a two point conversion. And at the 12 yard line, we just had to kick the PAT in that situation. Even though the mat doesn't really line up, we just gotta hope we can get another score in this game as Fields is brought down in completion. Fields second down, going play action, hit again, and that's picked off. Trey Mon Smith, he's got green grass to work with. He can stroll in for the touchdown, and there it is, our Texans have the lead. Defense turning up in the fourth quarter, forcing back-to-back -back interceptions on the Chicago Bears. And we'll try to go for two once again. Play action by Howell. Got him! Christian Kirk! And no penalty to note. So the two-point conversion stands, and our Texans have re gain the lead. There's really not a whole lot to play for in winning this game, right? Because we don't have any sort of playoff aspirations, but this is just a feel-good game that we're having right now. It might not be against the best opponent, but if we can win a game, that can just boost, boost the spirits of our team, and we'll see what we can do down the stretch going into the bye week. But first things first, we gotta try to win this game. It's nice to have the lead. We gotta hold on to it as we make the tackle there on Chalepsia. It seems like no Bears running back is showing up in this game ball is out and we nearly forced another turnover Calais Campbell inches away from the recovery instead the Bears get it after a loss of seven screen pass bad angle taken by Patrick Peterson David Montgomery gonna take the Bears at a 38 yard line we have 530 left in regulation third down fields in the corner high ball incomplete and nearly intercepted field starting to look shaky fourth down Bears offense on the field taking their time getting the snap off here's Justin Fields quick fire Cacalypsia out the backfield first down Chicago as they go RPO here Darnell Mooney gonna get away from Nicholson momentarily solid gain now Fields back in the 
groove, and he finds Bird again, taking flight for the second time this game. We haven't heard much from Darnell Mooney, nor from Brandon Cooks, but it's, my, my, Demir Bird doing the damage as Chicago ties the game up with 438 remaining in regulation, and now all eyes fall on the rookie Sam Howell. When we put Sam Howell in a similar position against the Indianapolis Colts, it didn't work too well. So let's see what lessons the rookie learned from those pressure situations to apply tonight in this Thursday night football matchup. Well, that's an easy play on first down. Just jet sweep to Christian Kirk and let him get six yards. Howell in the corner again to Brevin Jordan. Howell and Jordan doing damage to this Bears defense. First down, Howell dropping back. Got Kirk, middle of the field. Whoa, spin move. There it goes, Christian Kirk. Absolutely giving the Bears the work. That's a touchdown. And the Texans regain the lead. What a move from Kirk. First the route running to get the separation and the spin move, the sexy spin move. The Houston Texans crowd on their feet. Now it's up to the defense to try to get a stop on these Bears. Easier said than done. Chicago has one of the best passing attacks in the lead, league, led by the second-year quarterback, Justin Fields, who's able to locate the running back slash fullback, who is looking like a star out here. The fullback is shredding us. Oh, my. Galipsia getting a solid gain to the 22-yard line. That'll be a first down carry. Not going to get more than about five yards. Justin Fields, second down, bootlegging to the right side. Looking, looking underneath. Got Cole Komet, and Komet gets a first down run running over Raekwon McMillan in the process. We go to the two-minute warning, and we get the stop on first down from Campbell. Let's see if we can lock up to put the game on the line, 12 yards away from the Bears tying the game. They won't get too much here as Galipsia maybe gets a gain of three. Third down to goal at the nine, time winding down, minute to go in regulation. Galipsia on the carry, and Raekwon McMillan makes the open field tackle. What a play by McMillan, one week removed from a torn labrum, and now it's Fourth down game on the line for the Chicago Bears. Out the bunch. Justin Fields should be getting the ball as time continues to tick. Bears not in a hurry. Trying to make this perhaps a play to go to OT. Maybe not. McMillan gets the swat. Fields with the quick fire. And McMillan is there. Turnover on downs as Jalen Red not getting too much. We're not quite out of the woods just yet. We are backed up in our own end zone. Cannot commit a safety in in this situation, Howell RPO got him, it's O Moster, and Raheem Moster cannot be tackled, forced out at the 21 yard line, but that'll do it regardless, that's the ball game as we run the ball for no reason, that's it, that's the final play of the game, our Houston Texans are victorious, we snap the losing streak that dates back to week 10 against the Indianapolis Colts, we're back in the W column, and what is that, win number five in the season? Win number five in the season. Give it to the Houston Texans. GG's to the Chicago Bears, man. I, I don't know if that was a really good game against two bad teams or we just played a solid game. But either way, we won, you know. As the theme continues for our Texans, we seem to be able to take down the lesser teams in the league, right? We're, we're not great, but we're not that bad, I suppose. Where if we face the Giants or we face the Bears or the Raiders or the Jets, we can pull off wins. But any team other than that, we have some issues. But, I mean, the offense actually wasn't that bad. And this, this was supposed to be a one-off offensive scheme for this game where it was just like we were so battered with injuries and uh, offensive line was playing so bad I was just going to do this for one game and mess around put Mostert in the slot run him on some sweeps and some fakes and try to confuse the defense cause all sort of uh, commotion but it actually worked in a way I wasn't expecting it to work. It was supposed to help unearth our ground game, but what it really did was it helped Sam Howell play one of the best and most efficient games of his career, right? We had a fumble and a turnover in the second half, but, I mean, the fumble, I tried to throw the ball away and it got some weird animation. That's just unfortunate. The interception, my bad. But other than that, we had a very efficient game, so... I don't know. After the bye week, we'll, we'll have to talk to Sean McVay and see if he wants to keep running that offense for us because uh, he cooked up something nice. So, yeah. Um, that's going to be a dub, but unfortunately, we are not going to get the, the dev story for Jacob Martin, so that'll be the second time we missed a dev story this season. We also missed the McMillan one. Uh, yeah, I mean, Jacob Martin got injured in the first half. I didn't even care if he got the dev story, to be honest, right? He would have went from normal to star and still been a backup on our team.
as we have two new injuries. Of course, Jacob Martin with the abdominal tear and uh, CJ Uzama with the broken ribs. Now, here is the good news, right? It's been Armageddon of injuries, whatever, Houston Texans. We have the bye week. And after the bye week, most of our team will actually be back from injury. A lot of guys will be returning for us. Haskell Garrett, Chris Olave, um, Titus Howard will be back. Pretty much everybody will be back besides the guys that got injured in this week's game. Check that out. A lot of guys with one or two weeks left. Those two weeks, that's done by the time we suit up. Week, I believe, 15 against the Indianapolis Colts. So we might have the full squad pretty much back for the Colts. And that'll be something to look forward to. So leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed what you guys saw today. Subscribe for more Man 22 gameplays. I'll catch you guys next time. And it'll be nice to play with a team that's not completely depleted of injuries.